Howdy, I'm Matt, and in this episode is the FPV Maiden, and we've just been and taken off with the Reptile Harrier S1100. Uh, and as you can see, it's a bit of a murky day, and also I was not holding back on the sticks. I've just put my goggles down now. We're going straight into a spin, and we go immediately into Dead Man's Arm. Now, you've mentioned, you've heard me mention Dead Man's Arm. I am going to point out a few places on our fire flying site. They do have some very adult orientated names. No apologies. Now you'll see I'm not holding back. As far as I'm concerned, this model uh, it was $60, $70. Uh, and I'm going to cane the absolute nuts off it so you can see what it's like. So on the left hand side of the screen we have the DVR footage. Uh, now to be honest I made a bit of a mistake I put the little top cover bit on it and it's covered over the top so I am losing a little bit of my vision uh, that's what you can see at the top of the screen uh, and then on the top right hand corner above me which is that side uh, is the HD camera pointing backwards uh, and the reason why it's pointing backwards is because I put it on the top I was trying to get the center of gravity back uh, if you've seen the maiden footage uh, of the reptile harrier you'll understand why we were fighting so much uh, with the uh, CG on this model. Now I've only seen this footage, obviously I was there when I'm recording it, but uh, I've only seen this footage once since. Uh, I think I was chasing a birdie uh, while I was doing that, uh, but this is a, 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 a set, I can't remember. Uh, there were the, the <laughs> it was probably a full knacker run. It looks like, yes, uh, that's my one of my favorite little uh, streets to, to go flying through. Um, it, during this FPV flight, I used a whole different range of throttle positions. I flew slowly, uh, I did lots of rolls, and she loves to roll, absolutely adores to roll. A uh, very axial roll as well, really nice to fly from that point of view. Uh, as you'll see in a few minutes when I get, in a few moments time, when I start to smash it in and around the trees. Uh, I think I just got distracted by some more birds, sorry. Uh, my point being is that it does, it's very, very nimble. It doesn't feel like a bigger wing, if that makes any sense. It doesn't feel cumbersome. It doesn't feel big and bloaty. Uh, my coming back to my point on the different throttle positions uh, is that I had no torque roll. So on this model, I've got two propellers which are going the same way. This model does not suffer from torque roll. Uh, and, to be, and to be frankly honest, every twin engine motor model which I've owned uh, I've always had the propellers spin in the same way, uh, and I get no torque roll at all. Uh, by the way, we are currently in the shit. Yes, that's the field. Well, that's the name of that field. And we are about to go through balls deep. Now, that kind of tells you, first time out flying FPV, I had like half a flight last Sunday, and I can't remember the last time I FPV'd before that. I have got very, very comfortable with this model very, very quickly. Comfortable enough to go and start shooting small gaps. Now, I think I go straight for the sky here. Uh, and you'll see in the rear facing camera, uh, the, ah, a little bit of inverted. She will fly inverted, but she's very hard to catch if you've got high rates on. So if you want to fly this model inverted, uh, make sure that when, when you go to go inverted, you do it slowly because if you go for like full stick action on high rates, uh, it will, she'll just carry on. She's very hard to catch inverted, but very easy to catch out flat. Uh, and there you go, there's some full, full knacker action. I'm not holding back at this point in time. Uh, I'm frankly thinking, let's give it all the beans uh, and uh, yeah, give it a damn good ragging, which, I did. So you can see there's a little bit of snow coming up on the camera uh, on, on the, the FPV feed, but that's for knackers. She does shift along. Uh, it's not the fastest model which I've ever flown. Oh, chicken, Matt. Oh, nice little roll. We'll let myself off for that one. Uh, Rather going round into balls deep at full knacker. I think uh, common sense kicked in there <laughs> and kicked back. Uh, but uh, you'll see me that there was a crosswind on this day, there wasn't any uh, a waggle. Per se, I know in the, um, and we are going to wrap up in a moment, I know, very quickly, I know in the Maiden footage, it did look like the model was doing that, and actually that was me on the sticks counteracting uh, the wind, uh, because it was a little bit windy that day, uh, and I was flying around in high rates, and look at those rolls, <laughs> they're just, look, they, they were so nice. So nice, and I once I got it into the sky, I kind of knew it was going to be a good model, so yeah, I didn't hold back, and that was me being a little bit timid there, not going through um, Dead Man's Arm, uh, and 
<laughs> without a little bit more preparation. Uh, so you can see me, again, she is gliding. I didn't put the brakes on the ESC. That's something which I need to do. Uh, but she does carry her speed quite well. Now, this is the final approach coming up. Uh, and we are going to come round to land. Uh, absolute peach to land. Not like the first landing which I had. Uh, it, was a, it was an awful lot easier to, to just bring her in. Look, you see that wobble? That's me on the sticks. That's me fighting the wind uh, to get her in straight. And there you go, look. Absolutely brilliant. So, with that said, if you have any questions about the Reptile Harrier S1100, I've been and put not only the full spec details of what I've got in my Harrier, uh, but you can ask that either in the comments section underneath this video on YouTube, or pop across to the Facebook group. Uh, there'll be a link to that in the video description. So, let me know what you think of the Reptile Harrier. Personally, I'm rather impressed and do keep in the back of your mind. This model was bought out of my own money for my own abuses. Uh, and as many of you already know, I went on that day to go on and seriously abuse it. So I kind of like it. Do you like it? I don't know. Let me know. Comment section underneath this video. From myself, Matt, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this episode. I'll see you again shortly. Cheerios! Landed! <laughs> Crack the wing! That was in mid-air then, that was brilliant! Oh look, I got his antenna! I got his antenna! Look at that! That's a bloody war trophy! Look at that! I fucking ripped it right out! Oh, and I'm missing a motor! Oh, wow! That was brilliant! Absolutely bloody brilliant! So from myself, Matt, consider the Harrier ragged. <laughs> now we've got to go and find a motor and some other bits and bobs. <laughs> Cheerios!